trick is going to be really, really easy, but the thing is, is that it's, uh, the effect is actually really cool, so if you are um, already pretty advanced, this is still a good one to learn. Um, anyways, here's what it would look like. So let's say you split the deck up, so you give, let's say, about half the deck to yourself and half the deck to the spectator, and basically what you're going to do is they're going to be doing this alongside you, so pretend that when I'm doing this, the spectator is doing the same thing at the same time. So you start off by showing them how to shuffle a deck of cards. So you can say, uh, let's start off slow, just do one card at a time, and then once you get more comfortable, just kind of shuffle more cards um, as you go. So the spectator would be doing the same exact thing as you're doing, and then let's say you tell them that, let's take a couple cards from the middle, and we can keep putting it to the top just so we can mix up the deck a little bit. So the spectator, like I said guys, is doing the exact same thing you are uh, simultaneously. And let's say they're mixing up the deck as well. Let's say they did the same exact thing. They're just taking cards from the middle, putting it to the top, just kind of mixing up the deck. This is really good to do uh, with somebody who isn't really familiar with cards because this is really simple for them. Uh, but let's say they mix up the deck and then you're going to teach them how to deal the cards. So tell them you want them to deal into four piles because that's going to be the easiest to deal into. So let's say you start to teach them how to deal cards. And like I said, guys, you're doing this side by side with them at the same exact time. So let's say they're dealing out cards and you do the same exact thing. So now you deal out the cards in the four piles as well. So let's continue dealing them like this. You're just going through dealing out the cards. And the whole thing here is that the entire time you both have shuffled decks and you haven't touched the spectators, uh, the spectators half. So at the end of the trick, when you snap your fingers and tell them, you know what, you actually shuffled the cards yourself. You snap them, you can show them that the spectators have actually shuffled and dealt out the four aces, just like how you dealt out the four kings. So this is trick, guys. It's really simple. Um, it's great to do as a beginner, and then if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so what you want to do um, before you start the trick is just get out the four kings, the four aces, whatever you really want, and you get these off into separate piles from the deck. So let's say we do that, take the aces here, we get them into their own pile, and then what you do is you split the deck up in half. So you're going to have two halves of the deck in separate piles, so this is basically half the deck excluding these eight cards and what you do is you put the aces on top of one and this is the one you're going to give to the spectator and you put the kings on top of the other and this is the one you're going to keep so before you go up to the spectator what you're going to do is you're going to hold the bottom the bottom half of the aces you leave that here and you take the second half of the deck and you put that into a pinky break before you even start the trick so from here you go up to the spectator you say you know what um I'm going to teach you kind of how to shuffle. So this is the premise of the trick is you're just kind of showing the spectator how to shuffle cards. So it wouldn't really work necessarily if you're doing this on someone who, you know, has knowledge or can actually shuffle. So you kind of give them the bottom half of the deck. So you just take it from the pinky break. So you give them the, uh, the deck with the aces and then you're holding on to the kings. And like I said, you're doing this simultaneously. And in the first part, what you do is you say, okay, I'm going to teach you how to kind of just overhand shuffle. And we're going to start with one card at a time. So what you're doing is you're taking these four cards on top and putting them to the bottom. So make sure they go one by one at least four times. So that's two, three, and four. And then you tell them, you know, once you get more comfortable, you can shuffle more cards. And at this point, this isn't going to mess up the four cards on the bottom. So the spectators, they do the same exact thing. They go one, two, three, four. They start shuffling up the pack. And like I said, that will not mess up the bottom four cards. So then from here, you're going to tell them that you're going to mix up the middle of the deck by taking a few cards from the middle and then bringing that to the top. So the only real issue here is, well, it's not necessarily an issue, but you don't want them digging too far down in the deck and bringing the four cards from the bottom. So make sure you strictly tell them to mix up the cards from the middle. So at this point, there's nothing happening to the four cards at the bottom they can do all these cards in the middle, putting them to the top, they're not mixing up the cards that you don't want them to. So they're kind of just mixing up the cards, stay here at the bottom. Same thing happens with this deck as well. They're just kind of mixing up cards in the middle, bring it to the top, nothing's happening. So at this point, um, the deck is pretty much ready to go. You have the cards in the bottom of the deck, and then you just deal out four cards. You tell them you're gonna teach them how to deal, and you go to four piles just like this. And when you deal out cards, the cards that are on the bottom, those last four, those are going to be the cards that end up 
on top. So uh, the reason this trick is really cool is just because you're not really touching the spectator's deck at all. They're doing it all on their own and they feel like they're actually shuffling up the deck. But in reality, these four cards that they end at are going to be those aces. And the same thing would happen if we deal out these cards. These would end up with the kings. So this is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. Like I said, it's great for beginners, but also for everyone, um, even who's advanced, because the ending is really, really cool. So anyways, guys, hope you guys like the video. And if you are Thomas Lee, make sure to let me know uh, so I can get the deck giveaway figured out. Anyways, guys, this is the video. And as always...